Hi guys, Matt Collins here from Beausoleil. Today I want to have a look at some essential items that I always carry in my tackle box. These are items I simply could not go carp fishing without. So this is my tackle box. Now I see some guys rocking up with some massive uh, great affairs, but this is all I need to catch fish. So number one for me has got to be my loop. That's a 10 times loop, jeweler's grade, and without it, I simply wouldn't be able to fish. The most important thing in carp fishing is a sharp hook. Now, the hand sharpening thing, that's great if you can do it, but it's certainly not for everyone. All you need to do, take a loop, take a hook, inspect it. If it's pin sharp, use it. If there's any damage, change it. It's no good inspecting your hooks if you haven't got enough new ones to change them. Here are a few of my favourites. The Nash Claws, the Drennan Boiler Continentals and the ESP Cryogens. All good strong hooks. All can be sharpened, but to be fair, they're pretty good out the packet. So I've been using the Nash Claws for about a year now. Uh, really impressed with these hooks actually. Uh, a very long fine point, a very sharp out the packet. Uh, can be honed to an even finer degree. Uh, they don't last very long. Basically it's one hook per fish with these because the point is very long and fine, but uh, uh, an excellent choice for uh, getting those um, pickups of tricky fish. The ESP Cryogens, I've been using these grippers now for about three years. Uh, brilliant hooks, my favourite one for hand sharpening. Uh, they are pretty sharp out of the packet, but uh, I do prefer to uh, make, them, uh, make them ultra, ultra sharp. Uh, got a good hook uh, point durability on these. Uh, very strong, good hooks. The Drennan Boiler Continental, this hook's been around for a very long time indeed. Uh, I, I've been using these for, um, uh, for river carping a lot. Um, and any venue where I need to uh, fish mono, um, mono hook links where I'm casting a very long way. Uh, very, very strong hook. Quite a short stubby point, but when I'm fishing at distance on big reservoirs or on rivers with, uh, with braid, where I need a really strong hook, um, then that's definitely the one for me. The next most important thing in my tackle box is a decent pair of scissors. Now, the carp brands, you know, Corder, Gardner, etc., make all sorts of uh, uh, you know, specialist carp scissors. Tried them all, um, foxed them, yeah, they, they all do them. Uh, to be honest, I've given up with them. Um, they don't last for, uh, for long enough, not with the amount of rigs that I'm making anyway. And uh, uh, I've been using these Rapala ones for about a year, but twice, three times the money of a pair of um, uh, carp scissors but uh, phenomenally sharp and last really really well cuts through a heavy braid any material like a knife through butter brilliant other tackle box essentials some quality hook link I've uh, been using the Nash skin link now for uh, about a year 25 pound 35 pound versions really good more expensive than your regular stuff because you only get 10 meters in a spool but if you're fishing in an aggressive environment, then really, uh, really excellent. Uh, I'm fishing rivers, uh, uh, public venues, uh, aggressive environments like uh, Beausoleil, which is very rocky and stuff. So uh, if you're tackling big, tough venues like these, then a uh, strong hook link, very, very important. Another product I've been using uh, a fair bit over the last uh, last year or so is the uh, Armour Link, for also from Nash. I don't have a, a spool with me, but uh, very good product, available in £25, £35, and uh, yeah, uh, very um, abrasion resistant product, so it's good stuff. Now, this stuff isn't hook link at all, but I do use it for hook link. Um, we've got massive cats here. Uh, and uh, so I've been using the spider wire. This is 0 0.40. Stuff is rated at 49 kilo, 108 pounds. Immensely strong, obviously, incredible abrasion resistance. But uh, if you're if you're facing uh, yeah a tough ch carping challenge or, uh, or or catfish, then uh, this stuff in the 0.35 or the 0 0.40 is excellent. Another essential item in my tackle box: baiting needle. I've used all sorts over the years, you know, the lip close needles and, uh, and that type of thing. The one I'll keep on coming back to year after year is this old one from, um, from Gardner. 
simple, reliable, robust. It's all you need. Another two tackle box essentials, rig pullers, two of them. Absolutely essential for properly tying, tightening and testing your knots. Doesn't matter where you're fishing, if you're not properly tying and testing your knots, you risk losing fish. Doesn't do you any good, it certainly doesn't do the fish any good either. Something else I couldn't go fishing without, that's a lighter. Essential for blobbing knots and finishing off those all those little details to improve strength and neatness etc. Last but by no means least, carp antiseptic. Used loads of different sorts over the years. Uh, Christens Clinic, the stuff from Corda. Uh, really loving this uh, Nash Medicarp stuff actually. Um, uh, brilliant, really, really sticks well. Um, something else that I've been using, uh, this is just available off the shelf. Um, from a pharmacy, a product called Betadine. It's a gel-based uh, iodine solution. Uh, just dry, dry the mouth off first or any wound with a with a tissue, etc. Dab some of this gel on, and um, it really does stick very well. So that's it. That's what's in my tackle box. It's pretty small, compact, but it's got everything that I need to catch fish. All the best next time you go out.